filming for the, for the session. On 24 hours up here we're in the freezing cold wind in the middle of the deep thing. Yeah, it's half an hour ago I suppose. I moved back to this thing. Right straight away.
sim safety pack. I just love the little turning shots with the GoPro. I'm sure the novelty will wear off at some stage, but at the moment, it hasn't. It just looks so nice, doesn't it? When you slide it back in, it's like a big bottle and off they go into the clear water. Great little tool. Great little tool. Well, good fish under my belt. southwesterly yesterday which was pushing sort of cold wind into the reeds and it looks so good. Um, but early hours this morning it swapped around southerly which took it away from these reeds straight down the lake and it almost went a little bit southeasterly. It got quite cold the wind then. And I came up here for a look and as soon as I stood up here when the sun came out and the reeds and the cold water I just knew it was going to be in there. It's just a case of how many are here. I'm in two minds here to be honest. Half of me thinks that this is a good idea for some reason. Um, casting my little GoPro camera out on my spod rod, floating it out in the lake. Uh, that half of me thinks it'd be quite exciting to see what sort of footage we get. The other half of me thinks this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. So Take a good look, maybe the last time we ever see it. Just about to see what it feels like, what it looks like to be cast out. Okay, record. Here goes nothing. Just about a bit of sea that's right. Almost bang smack in the middle of the screen actually looking from here on the monitor. Very slightly on the right. How about that then? First time of casting out the GoPro uh, lands on top of a carp. Unbelievable. Uh, I just played it back on the phone on the app. Um, did take me a while actually to see him on the little screen. I was watching the clear spot and waiting for someone to cruise past and then uh, forgot that it's sort of eight feet of water so they're not going to look that big down to eight feet of water. I don't think it was a big fish anyway to be honest. Um, but out the corner of the screen I see something moving and then sort of looked closer and saw the pecs going. Couldn't believe it. First time. Got it sort of opens up all sorts of opportunities. I mean, for filming, not, you know, not really as a fishing tool, but for filming, it's great. Uh, in the summer, you can cast it out there and feed floaters around it, chub mixes all around. And you know what carp are like once they get so honed in on floaters, they're always, always not in the control. I mean, in theory, you should be able to get a little bit of footage of one coming up straight up and knocking the lens of the camera. Gives me amused while I'm waiting for a bite anyway. Love it every time. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you know when you've had a decent afternoon or day's angling, when it gets to this sort of time of night, probably about an hour before dark, and you realise you haven't even had a cup of tea for the last five hours, let alone a crumb to eat. Suddenly you thought, Christ, I'm thirsty. 
and realised I hadn't actually unpacked my tea making kit since I moved from last night's swim. I'm just about to remedy that, that's for sure. But no, it's been a good afternoon. 35 and a sort of, I don't know, mid double stocky. Sure, there's more fish out in the area. Just found a little spot for me, my fourth rod, my left hand rod. I've got three against the reed, so I did have one out on a zig, but just found a little bit about eight foot deep, a little silty clear bit amongst some weeds. So spotted about uh, five spodfuls of sort of hemp and mini boilies and bits and pieces out there. So you never know in the night they might sneak away from them reeds and drop down for a feed there. Well, it's not the best of mornings this morning. Not exactly ideal for fishing up here against the reeds and the shallows. Uh, I had one more fish in the night, 25 pound common. On the same rod, all three bites on the same rod. Typical monk style. One spot does it and the rest of them don't do a bite. But this morning's all pretty drismal. Took forever to get light, I had to redo the rod I'd caught on and uh, just as it eventually grew light, clouds moved in, rain came, and it looks like it's set for the day, I think. The forecast is quite poor, easterly winds and rain most of the day, so. I think I might pack up in a little while and skedaddle off home. Been a good little trip though. Started off poor, but then I had that move and ended up with three fish, so. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Had some fun with the GoPro again. And a nice mid thirty to go with it. Lovely. I do hate packing up in the rain though. It is the worst and everything's dripping wet. A dog's black, he's covered in mud. Everything's covered in mud actually. I suppose the saving grace is the swim I moved into is right next to the car park, so I ain't got far to go. So, unless anything drastic happens, I'll uh, see you next week.